I'm Aton Shader with Awesome. We have three plays for you on this Sunday evening for prizepicks.com. But before I give you those, look at that. We have a promo code for you. You put in 100, we put in 100. Use our promo code AWESOMO. And that's right, we'll match your first deposit up to $100. Our first play on Sunday for prizepicks.com, Steph Curry. We're going over 29 and a half, so at least 30 points for Steph. Doesn't seem to be a problem as of late. 40 points, 37 before that. Really, the only thing you have to worry about in this matchup against Toronto is if he shoots poorly, but even then, a bad night, a floor for Steph this month has been low 20s, mid 20s, and that's only happened really two times in the last five, six games. You also have that 50 spot, that 42 times over. The reality is, is that, yes, there could be a little bit of a bump, but even still, I'll take the volume of shots, 24 points three games ago. He still took 22 shots and 13 threes, just an off night. He's going to get to the line as well. The matchup a little easier against Toronto than it was against Charlotte on the road then. So really like going over the 29 and a half points for Steph. Think the volume is going to be there. And again, the floor on a rough night shooting should get you just to about 24, 26 points, and then it's free throws, and then it's one less three there into a, a field goal or maybe even a late bucket that's going to put us over. So over 29 and a half points for Steph Curry, our first play. Second play, a little bit of a risk in the sense of we're still riding this wave, and Paul George has had himself a season by all means, but when you look at just where prizepicks.com has George and his projected points against Dallas, 24 and a half. The hook in there got me. I'm going to go under that number. Look, George over the last couple of games has certainly struggled shooting the basketball. 19 points in a loss against New Orleans before that 23 in a loss against Memphis. Notice the theme here. When the Clippers are losing, he's struggling. When they're winning, he's a big part of it. But even still, he's not dominating that number by any means. I think overall, he's more in a slump than anything over the last six, seven games. And he's had a way to get to the line and really improve his final production. You get 34 points in a game where he shot 10 of 24 from the field, but he went to the line 13 times. He's not going to go to the line as much in this game specific against Dallas. He hasn't gone to the line at all in the last two games. So don't expect 13, 14 free throws against Dallas. Expect him to continue to struggle from the floor could get to 19, 22 points. This is going to be a sweat, maybe even 24. The hook is going to save us. Normally, it ruins us. In this case, it will save us under 24 and a half points for Paul George. Last, no hook here. We love the three-point attempts made here for Devin Booker. Just looking at the recent history for him. So the number on prizepicks.com is two. Projected threes for Devin Booker is two. We're going over with the push and play, of course. And just looking at what Booker has been able to do consistently from the three-point line, he's at that number two. Really, every single game except one this month in November, and they've played a chunk so far, he's hit at least two threes. The volume is going to be there. It's 26 of 64 on the entire month and only had one game back on the 12th of November where he could not hit at least two threes. So with the push and play, I think we're looking at the volume of shots and also how often he's hit two and gone over two this month as a great catalyst here to take advantage of a low number. Realistically, this should be two and a half, arguably even three against Denver, but at two on prizepicks.com, we'll take the low number and pound that over. All right, one more time. Steph Curry over 29 and a half projected points. Paul George, under 24 and a half projected points. We're going to ride that struggle right now for George. And over two threes for Devin Booker. Push and play, but I think he can clear that number. So put him in a flex play, and if you hit two of three correctly, you'll win one and a quarter your entry fee. Hit all three correctly in the flex play, and you're going to win back two and a quarter what you put in. Want a bigger payout? Don't worry. We got you. Prizepicks.com offers the power play. You must hit all three correctly. And if you do, you're going to win five times your entry fee. Before you do anything, use our promo code when you sign up. Awesome. A-W-E-S-E-M-O. And we'll match your first deposit up to $100. I'm Aton Shander for Awesome. Have a great night.